For my third video, I'd like to inform people that in general, the way they are using cleaners and sanitizers in their home to treat this new virus COVID-19 is wrong. With this pandemic, most people are doing their best to clean and sanitize their home to avoid spread of the virus and are excessively buying cleaning products such as disinfectants and hand sanitizer at the grocery store to the point that shelves of household cleaners are in shortage across the country. My concern is that people in this country are not properly informed on how to use these products and my hope for today's video is to educate you how to best protect yourself and your loved ones from this virus. Yet, we have not had time to obtain data on the effectiveness of household cleaners to treat COVID-19. Fortunately, standard cleaning products that are successful in killing other viruses will most likely also work against COVID-19. Therefore, the majority of experts agree that most cleaning agents are effective in killing the virus. So how do we protect ourselves from this new virus using cleaning and disinfecting agents? The Environmental Protection Agency has a list of presumed effective disinfectants to combat COVID-19, which includes sprays, concentrates, and wipes. Each one of these disinfectants have been shown to kill viruses that are more difficult to eliminate than COVID-19. The key with using these products is they should be used according to their directions. Unfortunately, most of us fail to read the fine print on the back of the bottle. On the back of the container, each disinfectant includes something known as the contact or wet time, which is the duration that the disinfectant needs to stay wet on a surface in order to be truly effective. Contact times for disinfectants range between 15 seconds and 10 minutes, 10 minutes being the maximum time allowed by the EPA. When using disinfecting products, it is crucial to follow the directions on the label. If the disinfectant does dry on the surface before the contact time is reached, then the instructions on the product request that the disinfectant is reapplied to ensure it is effective. A disinfectant must remain visibly wet on the surface to ensure proper disinfection. Without following wet time regulations, disinfectants can be rendered ineffective and viruses can live on surfaces. For this reason, any disinfectant must be properly applied to ensure that it kills all viruses. To be honest, even as a tenured medical professional, the idea of contact time was unknown to me and possibly unknown to you as well. I was under the impression that merely spraying a typical household product on a surface or using a clean wipe was an effective way to get rid of germs. Unfortunately, this is not the case and this is why viruses can persist to survive even though we are continuously cleaning. Therefore, we must look at the label to understand both the proper usage and the contact time. For most wipes, the recommended contact time is between two and five minutes. For ready spray formulas, it is typically three and 10 minutes. In the home, the places where germs are most commonly found are bathroom sinks, kitchen counters, bath faucets, common doorknobs, and kitchen drawers. Today, I have brought products from my own home to show you how to find wet time and properly disinfect. These Clorox wipes claim to kill 99% of all viruses and bacteria. And if we flip the package and read the directions, it says to clean a given surface with a fresh wipe and let the surface dry. It also says to sanitize, the surface must remain visibly wet for 10 seconds, anything less, and it cannot ensure proper sanitation. 10 seconds is very reasonable, but let's look at other products that I keep in my home. Here we have Pine Saw, a product that I always imagined to be a great cleaner and sanitizer as well as something that my family commonly uses. This disinfectant claims to be the number one dilutable cleaner. The back label reads disinfecting, apply disinfectant product with a clean sponge or cloth, full strength on hard non-porous surface. Wet surface let stand 10 minutes and then rinse. Usually when I use Pine Saw, I dilute it in water before I mop my floors or I use it to clean a dirty area and I have never left the surface visibly wet for 10 minutes after I clean it. That is why contact time and reading the instructions are vital in the practice of killing germs and cleaning the home. I did not know Pine Saw for it to work, that it needed to be non-diluted and let dry for 10 minutes for it to be effective. I urge you to check your household disinfectants before you use them so that we may cease to continue this mistake. Another seemingly powerful cleaner that I use in my home 409 has misleading branding. 
The self-dub workhorse cleaner that cuts through grease and can clean almost anything has instructions on the back that were so small I had to use my iPhone to take a picture of the label and enlarge it. Further inspection, the label reads, to disinfect, spray until thoroughly wet, let stand 10 minutes, then wipe. For heavily soiled areas, a pre-cleaning is required. All surfaces that come in contact with food must be rinsed with potable water. This workhorse cleaner may possibly need pre-cleaning before usage. Not only that, it must also stand for 10 minutes. These two actions I know I have never done when cleaning my own home, and I assume many of you are in the same boat as I am. The message I want you to take from this video is to be careful on what you clean your home with. And please make sure your cleaning agents are EPA approved disinfectants. You can look on the label for the EPA registration number and confirm the product is effective against COVID-19 by visiting the EPA's website. Also remember that it's not always the most expensive products that do the most efficient job at disinfecting. And most importantly, please use caution because these chemicals do cause harm. Poison control centers have had a 20% increase in calls relating to cleaners and disinfectants. It is essential that you read the label not just for the wet time, but also to avoid harm to your skin and unnecessary inhalation injuries to you and your family. In closing, I hope I have helped you understand more about the difference between cleaning and disinfecting to demonstrate just how long it takes for some of these cleaning products to be effective if you were to put 409 on your counter at the beginning of watching this video it would not be time to wipe it down as you would still need to wait a couple more minutes if you have any questions please email me at dr.jeffrey.rosenblum at gmail.com our office is available for in-person as well as telemedicine appointments by going to alamoent.com or calling our office 210-545-0404. As always, thank you for watching, be healthy, and stay safe.